And the track there, of course, is called Old, dedicated to me, naturally. <laughs> and the band are Machine Head, and from the band we have Robert Flynn and Aru, I can't say, I want you to say it. Aru. Aru, because yeah. I've never heard it said before, so I think, oh, I don't know what to say. Like, Aru, nice to meet you. Nice Kangaroo. 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 Right. Love the t-shirt. All right. Good for British television, I tell you. Yeah. Supercharger, fourth album. Some of the albums have had, in fact, the first album, when it came out, got an enormous amount of praise. Mm -hmm. Enormous. In fact, in 1994, about that, it was uh, praised as being one of the best debut albums ever. Then the next two got a little bit of dis you know, dissent. Some people said good, some people said, eh, not so good. Why was that, do you think? Were you desperately trying to change a style, or were you? Um, I mean, I think from a, from a media standpoint, it was a little bit like that. I know on the street, and when I was talking to kids, and when we'd go tour, um, I mean, we sold more records, we sold more merchandise, and we sold twice as many concert tickets. So, I mean, I guess from a media profile, it was different, but that was the other side of it. So, so okay. So the message there is media man talk bullshit. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. This one, this one, you recorded though in analog, right? In this great digital age, when everything is digital, you decided to hell with that. We're going back to basics. Yeah, it was cool. We did a, actually, we did the Burning Red fully analog too, and um, a lot of bands these days are using Pro Tools, yep. which is you know you don't really have to be able to play good as long as you can play the riff right once. They could just cut and paste it, but Machine Head's all about you know the live energy and the 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 human quality of the music. And we just felt like analog was the best way to capture that. Like, with, I mean, Dave did all his drum tracks without even within no fixes, and that's like unheard of these days. Mm -hmm. And and it sounds great. What is the difference though in a studio environment? Is there any difference at all when you're recording it analog to digital? Um, I mean, the only thing is, is like you don't have the ability to fix as many things you right. know like with with the stuff that he's talking about with pro tools you can pretty much make anything perfect and uh when you're doing it analog it's like you just don't have that ability so you you got more mistakes and you know we're not the uh, necessarily the greatest players on earth but uh it, i think it just makes it like to me like when i put on those old black sabbath records it's like i feel like i'm in the same room with yeah. the band you know you can hear them breathe in and you can hear like the mistakes and just like dropping little the slurs yeah, yeah and sort of i love that you mm. know and i just i dig that and i think that that's what comes across when machine head records like that like you get that feeling mm -hmm. when the band dave too like uh, me and dave when we tracked everything we would try to nail it within like three or four takes and if we didn't get it in that three or four takes, like we'd come back to it like the next day. But just to keep that like energy, you know, not get burnt out on it when you were recording it and just, you know, super high frantic stuff. So, there so was a it's really like recording as live. Yeah, yeah pretty yeah. much. And, and try and capture that, you know, as best possible. And um, it was, I mean, you can hear it. Like there's a couple of places where I'm like, you know, out of breath going into the next line. And it's like, I'm really out of breath, you know, mm -hmm. so we're going in. It was cool. It was fun. I always like to ask this of musicians, successful musicians. What do you listen to now? What gives you a bit of a buzz when it hits your CD player? I listen to I listen to all kinds of music, uh, new and old. I've been listening to the new system a lot. Toxicity. It's good. It's really it? cool. Yeah. yeah. It's really good. Uh, the I've liked at the drive-in. That's pretty good. I mean, I, I dig them guys. Then I've I've also been listening to like Led Zeppelin one, mm -hmm. and uh. And some older stuff, The Cure sometimes. Yeah, I'm, I'm older totally stuff. the yeah. system. The new system records. It's rocking. a killer album. Yeah, it really awesome. is. I also, me and him both got into. Possible. Keep going, Robert. Me and him just both got into a, like a Led Zeppelin phase. Like I bought Led Zeppelin four for the first time. Like just hearing it for the first time ever. And uh, you know, other than Stairway to Heaven, so it was cool. What about that. touring, particularly around here in Europe? Pretty soon, like uh, November, we're coming yeah. over here. Yeah. Cool. Nice. Just got to get this in shot because I haven't. <laughs> I've actually yet to see this. This is the first copy I've seen. It's on the streets now. It is called Supercharger. It. What's it called? Supercharger. That's a good title for an album. Have one. <laughs> Hell yeah! Thank okay. you. Machine Head, Robert for free? Flynn. I and free and, <laughs> and free. Uh, but I hear you're a bit of an ogre. Somebody once said this man is a hard man to deal with. You've been with him a long time. 
Is he? Uh, he has his moments, definitely. <laughs> 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 but. <laughs> but who doesn't? You know? And who doesn't, exactly. Yeah. But he gets what he wants, right? That's what What's he does. an ogre? He's got to be focused and just go for it. But we're going to play Davidian now. Remember making this video? Yeah, totally, man. Okay. San Francisco. Here he comes. I was, I was actually in the audience in this video. This we, oh, you were? In yeah. the audience? Yeah. Okay, let's see if we get a camera on you in this. Davidian coming up. <laughs> Machine Head. Thank you, gentlemen. All right. 